In Senegal, an online storm rages about polygamy and homosexuality. By Moise Manuel Flores May 16, 2024. Commentary about Senegal's new president stirred up a homophobic hornet's nest. Polygamy. Senegal's president Basiro Diome Faye Center is flanked by his two wives, Absa Faye Left and Marie Kone Faye Right. Last month's commentary by Claire Riviere in the online French investigative publication Mediapart described Basiro Diome Faye, Senegal's new president, as seeking a gentle break from the nation's colonial past. That wasn't controversial. Neither were the various comments, pro and con, that Riviere reported from his interviews with activists and academics in Senegal. His article was balanced journalism, but it was published behind a paywall so it did not reach many readers. Instead, people tended to read just two introductory sentences, which stated that Fay's party intends to challenge the neo-colonial status quo. But its ambiguity on the place of women and homosexuals raises questions. Senegalese commentators rushed to defend the nation's acceptance of polygamy and its rejection of homosexuality. Some claimed that Senegalese tradition is the only justification that's needed for both homophobia and polygamy. On X Twitter, people tweeted, In Senegal, we're homophobes. We don't hide it. Polygamy is part of life in Africa so it is rather a good thing that the Senegalese president appears with his two wives. As for homosexuality, we must stop believing that this will happen in many African countries. You're wasting your breath. It's better to have two women as wives than to have one man as a wife. Know that our civilization accepts two wives. You are not the center of the world. Ah, France, which finds it normal for two men to mate but a man cannot have several wives. So condescending. Prepare to be an underdeveloped country. Your cash cow, Africa, is kicking you out. The controversy demonstrates how far apart France and Senegal are in their attitudes about marriage. Many people in France support marriage equality and believe that polygamy destroys women's rights. In contrast, many people in Senegal believe that polygamy poses no danger to women's rights and that gay marriage is repulsive. A group of women in rural West Africa participate in a traditional ceremony to celebrate a polygamist marriage. Fatuma Kamar photo courtesy of IPS, a group of women in rural West Africa participate in a traditional ceremony to celebrate a polygamist marriage. Fatuma Kamar photo courtesy of IPS, but not everyone in Senegal shares those beliefs. A 2012 Interpress Service article makes that point with the headline, Polygamy Throttles Women in Senegal. Polygamy is a form of modern slavery, a Senegalese women's rights advocate was quoted as saying. Women involved in this form of marriage have no voice and no channels to complain. A 23-year-old woman who was forced to marry a 48-year-old rich man, agreed. Polygamy is hell and a pack of lies, she said. Senegal ranks at number 104 out of 146 nations in terms of women's economic participation and opportunity, educational attainment, political empowerment, and health and survival as measured in the Global Gender Gap Index of the World Economic Forum. For erasing 76 crimes, Senegalese human rights activist Sadio Depay de Islet's pseudonym analyzed the controversy. Sadio Depay de Islet stated, The reactions of the Senegalese press to the Mediapart article have led to a damaging conflation between the defense of polygamy and the rejection of homosexuality in Senegal, in a sort of confusion in public opinion between the two debates, which overlap but have nothing to do with each other. Polygamy does not necessarily represent a prevalent threat to women's freedom, insofar as it is a minority patriarchal practice affecting only one-third of Senegalese households. In 2018, only 35.8% households were polygamous, according to Senegal's Agence Nationale de la Statistique et de la Démographie. What's more, it is far from being a systematic requirement for women to take an older man as their husband. Without denying that there may be cases where women are forced into polygamy against their will, which remains unacceptable, it would be totally caricatural to see it as a norm. In 2020, religious police in Touba, Senegal, displayed illegal items they seized in a crackdown on objects and activities that are illegal in the holy city. Items on display include a pile of footballs, lower left, and an array of dresses on mannequins, upper left. 
They also arrested 10 gay residents of the city. Image from a video by Senaweb TV on YouTube, in this sense, I find that there is a feminist and slightly racist bias in seeing the bigamy of Senegal's new president, Basiro Diome Fay, as oppression of women, insofar as his two wives consent to this union, with free will and in an enlightened manner. The same is true of the Islamic veil in public spaces in France, where some feminists see it as a sign of loss of freedom for women and a symbol of submission to patriarchy, while others claim the freedom to wear it. As a human rights defender, my position is unambiguous, I will always be on the side of freedom and against any form of diktat, especially when it comes from abroad or internationally. On the other hand, the situation faced by LGBT plus people in Senegal has nothing to do with the polygamy debate. Homosexuals in Senegal are indeed experiencing extremely serious infringements of their fundamental freedoms, such as the right to see each other or to meet and have fun, even in a private setting. Article 319 paragraph 3 of the Penal Code stipulates that anyone who commits an indecent or unnatural act with a person of the same sex is liable to five years imprisonment and a fine of 1.5 million CFA francs, 2,500 euros. Finally, we note that homophobia and the rejection of feminism are deliberately exploited by some to express anti-French sentiment in response to a simple press correspondent simply transcribing the words and phrases of his local interviewees. View comments, zero, related posts. Senegal Prime Minister Usman Sanko. Homosexuality is, not accepted, but tolerated. Sylvain Cherkoui photo courtesy of AP, Senegal arrests Islamic agitators for claiming Prime Minister is gay. Shortages of doctors and drugs bedevil LGBT plus Haitians, and everyone else Constant Mutamba Tunginga is a lawyer at the Kinshasa Bar and Mining Agent, at Constant Mutamba Sur X. Congo lawmaker wants jail, not slavery, for LGBT people. Help for LGBT youths in Benin, where anti-gay lynchings are commonplace. Congo to consider new anti-gay bill. Basiro Diome Fe this week, after his election. Photo courtesy of X Twitter, what does Senegal's new president have in store for LGBTQ people? About. The Erasing 76 Crimes news site covers the human toll of 65-plus countries' anti-gay laws and the struggle to repeal them.